Millions of pizzas travel daily from the frozen food section of the supermarket to the family dinner table. Thick or thin crust, meat or vegetarian. Their convenience makes them a staple in the freezer. But how do they end up tasting so fresh when they start out so frozen? Making frozen pizzas requires a maze of machines. To make the dough for the crust, they combine flour, salt, sugar, water, yeast, and oil in a large mixer. And they throw in a bit of cornmeal for flavor. The mixer turns the ingredients for about four minutes. This is one powerful machine. A truck transmission drives the steel bars that knead the dough. The dough rises for about half an hour. Then they feed it into a chunking machine, which divides the big blob into smaller pieces. The chunks travel to a sheeting machine that rolls them into a flat sheet one inch thick. A light dusting of flour keeps the dough from sticking to the machinery. A series of rollers called quick reducers gives the dough an even consistency. A flour brush massages the dough, ensuring a smooth surface. Next, stainless steel spikes pierce the dough with holes about a quarter inch deep. These holes will stop air pockets from forming in the dough. A large plastic roller with several round forms cuts the circular shape of the pizza crust. The machine automatically separates the leftover dough. The factory remixes it with fresh dough for the next batch. A conveyor takes the dough circles to their next destination, the oven. They bake for two minutes between 390 and 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Six chambers inside the oven automatically control the temperature pattern to ensure that each one bakes evenly. Next stop, the tomato sauce. A tank pumps a steady supply of sauce into a reservoir, drenching a roller turning inside. A plastic board then scrapes the sauce onto the crust passing below. The excess sauce drips down, replenishing the reservoir. Mounds of pre-shredded mozzarella are ready to be added. A cheese applicator machine controls the output so that the mozzarella forms an even layer. Large hoppers load heaps of pepperoni, sausage, and other meat toppings into a meat applicator. As with the tomato sauce and cheese, the meat toppings cascade down on the pizza crust. The pizza is now ready for inspection. Workers take samples off the line and weigh the crust, sauce, cheese, and meat to ensure the equipment dispenses the right amount of each. Next, the pizzas enter a spiral freezer called a blast cell, where they spend about 20 minutes at minus 25 degrees Fahrenheit. An overwrapping machine applies a clear layer of plastic around each pizza, automatically cutting the wrap to fit. A vision control system takes a picture of every pizza, verifying the size, diameter, and checking for any imperfections. The machine automatically rejects any less than perfect pizzas by air blasting them into a separate tub. Finally, an arm pushes each pizza into a waiting box. All that's left now is to heat it up and dig in.